Okay, here we go. We have the tile is in. So that took a few days and Mitch and I to do it. I got my black accent strip finally, along with the beveled tiles to just kind of change the look up a little bit. But yeah, this uh, is looking really sharp. I'm liking it. This is a good time to flash back to before. This is what the bathroom looked like when I started out. You can see it's all dated here. Uh, the last remodel, this remodel was in about 1990. So here you can see after the old bathroom was torn out and we are refurbishing the floors, we're uh, filling the low points with flex bond mortar. We are changing over the plumbing and doing other work. We'll be putting in a new cast iron tub, 400 pounds. Don't miss that video. That was a wrestling match. And uh, we'll be putting hardy backer flooring down all through the bathroom, even under the tub, and putting three thick coats of Red Guard water sealant and uh, separation layer. So there is the old faucet. Check out the new one. So next is going to be the marble on the floors. Then I'll be able to put this bathroom back together and start on the bathroom downstairs. Then the window here is still probably another couple of weeks out. So I'm going to have to wait for that to get here before I can finish tiling into the window. And I think what I'm going to do is get a single piece of marble for the windowsill um, ledge that uh, you can put soap, shaver, shampoo on that too, but also so that there are no gaps, uh, no grout joints in it, just a single solid piece. And that will help a lot to keep the shower waterproof. Waterproof is your friend. But anyway, uh, the tile goes all the way up to the ceiling. So you see it up there to the ceiling. The ceiling has a slight slope to it. So on um, this front wall, we had to put those little sliver pieces. And then you can see the angle cuts in the tiles at the top there. Now that's one of the things about if you do go to the ceiling, old houses, uh, you just have to go with it. Uh, they all have their little slopes and this and that. But anyway, so yeah, I'll get that window and then I'll put that in. And you can see here, we finished the tile by putting this wood lintel up here so that we could span tile across that without any slumping, sloping or whatever. Uh, no drooping tiles and uh, if you're tiling behind a stove or something you would use that same technique to span the cabinet space behind the stove so that you can tile behind the stove and uh, that's just got a couple of little the wonderful GoPro once again died at 2 minutes and 34 seconds there's something about Two minutes and 34 seconds with an auto kill switch in the thing. Maybe it's time for a new one. So anyway, as I was saying, the lintel there, that board across it, that allows us to tile across the top of the window, even though there's nothing, no window there to support it. And then we'll just uh, put the window in, do the tile uh, jam around the window, and then tile into the window. And so that should work out nicely. You remember here how we drilled the hole for the shower uh, hand spray. And then we cut the tiles to fit around the shower control valve. Drilled this one here too. Put in the soap dish down there. Soap dish up here. Shower tray over there. Or a shampoo shelf, whatever. And uh, so we positioned it so that it would be just below the trim piece. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, and then there's the other thing too, is it's always nice to put at least one tile 
on the outside of the tub uh, because a lot of times tubs will get water leaking down here and you can have paint lifting and other things happening and if you do it with tile that will keep your wall in good shape and you see how we have the same thing up here and then we just we decided to wrap the corner in tile I just thought that that would look better okay anyway um, so tomorrow I'm going to go get paint I'm not ready to grout this I could grout this if I uh, wanted to um, but I'm going to go get paint and I want to get started painting the ceilings and walls in here. I need to get some new um, towel holders and bars and all that stuff. I want to get the flooring in so that I can put the pocket door frame back together and turn this back into a room. And then we'll have the quartz. Uh, I'm going to leave this countertop and then we're going to lay quartz over it and uh, I think that's the best way to handle the situation because it's all a built-in cabinet and it would be very difficult to remove the plywood under that so I think I'm just going to leave it so all right it is time to get out of here it's Friday night but I will be working again tomorrow all right so I hope you enjoyed watching the bathtub video putting the bathtub in tearing out the bathroom tiling doing all the duroc there's been a lot of stuff done in this bathroom several videos up lots of learning potential if you are going to try to do your own home remodeling this is a good resource all right thanks for watching and see you on the next video take care and don't forget to subscribe like comment 